Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Good morning, it is a beautiful day, a beautiful morning because we have the exportal up and running, we have it updated and today in this video I'm going to review it. We are going to discuss a couple of important points and at the end of the video I'm also going to give some feedback to the team, not marketing wise but maybe communicating wise. I think that's important but let's first review the app and before we do it Let's go through the important key points which we need to keep in mind in order to have a good judgment at the end of the day or at the end of this beta program. So let's start. So first of all, as you know, the update is ready and it is installed on my phone. I can show it to you right there. I don't know if you can see it. There is the X and I'm going to click on it in just a second. But first, let's just recap what is this Two weeks. So this two weeks is a beta testing because uh, the team wants to know what are the problems, what are the bugs, what uh, problems we encounter and everything you encounter, everything you see, you should report it back to the team because that's how they can ensure a smooth experience to us through this app. But I have to say just before we go in that I already buttoned around and I already tried to try all the features or the features which are available and it's I think it's a great app. I think it's a good app. I think it works nicely. I like how it looks like, but let's just jump in and go through the features and what it can and cannot do. Let's start. So first of all, we are going to open this app. And as you can see, here is my uh, full uh, dashboard. You can see the main wallet. You can see some features like chat with friends, complete quests, uh, read latest news and explore dApps. Now, this is like a summary of all the, all the features which uh, are there already and you can see some tokens which you have or not in your portfolio. Now we will go through all the features and as you can see every big feature or big um, section on the bottom has some smaller features or subsections on the top. So on the home there is the wallet, there is the track, cards, swap and NFTs. Now uh, let's start with the wallet. I think it's pretty straightforward. You can send, receive, buy, earn. This is for staking obviously and um, yeah from here you can go anywhere actually. So um, I don't think that we need to spend too much time. Next one is track. It is to create a portfolio. You can create multiple ones obviously and you can add coins. And here is my first review or first feedback to the team. I think to have a portfolio in this app is great. It's uh, it's it's important and uh, it's, it's a good add-in, right? Because some of you or some of us are tracking our coins on CoinGecko, CoinFII, CoinMarketCap and on other portfolio trackers. Now what I don't like here is that I have to add the coins manually. Uh, that's not great and I tell you why. Because the explorer is, is there, it's in the same ecosystem as the explorer. Therefore I would have uh, expected this portfolio tracker to already just uh, import the transactions from the explorer because it's in the wallet, everything is transparent, everything is on chain. Therefore, it could already show me uh, what swaps I did, you know, um, I don't know, when I bought, when I sent, uh, when whatever I did, it could already appear in this tracker. And maybe I just have to add coins, which I have, which are not in the Multiversex ecosystem, meaning that if I have, I don't know, any shitcoin or, or, or Bitcoin or Ethereum, but Bitcoin and Ethereum are also here. So you could have Bitcoin and Ethereum in your exportal app or wallet. However, I don't think that many, many of the people have. Now, uh, that is my first feedback. So I think one huge update could be that the tracker, the portfolio tracker just uh, already imports everything uh, which you, I don't know, transacted or, or you, you did with this specific wallet and maybe in the future you could just add another uh, wallet address you know uh, you just tell it that hey track this wallet address and it just uh, adds you know all the transactions and shows you you know are you in profit or loss or what you did you know swaps and stuff like that so yeah that is my first feedback uh, there is also a watch list you can create a watch list I mean coins which you want to to follow and there is the market which is actually same as any portfolio trackers dashboard you can check what is happening on the market and by the way i can see that bitcoin is at almost 24000 if it breaks 24000 we are confirming the the uptrend let's go forward and check what else we have we have obviously the cards 
and as you can see i'm on the wait list however i'm not gonna get it uh this week so you can click on put me on the wait list so you can be wait listed for the cards every week there are 5000 people who will get the card or who will become eligible now you have to choose your country obviously because not every country is eligible for example the united uh, emirates are not therefore dubai is yeah out of question for now however i do have address in other countries as well so i am sure that it will be solved somehow anyways you can bump up in the in the positions if you invite friends if you invite one friend then it will bump you up by 5000 positions meaning that i have to invite like two friends in order to be in the first 5000 this week let's go forward because we have the swap and i think i love this one the most and i said it in my previous video as well the swap button because you don't need any more to just uh, to connect your wallet to x exchange uh, you can swap uh, any coin which we have on the Multiverse X ecosystem to eGold or to, to ESDC and so on, so on. I think this is great and I think this is uh, very important, especially if there is big volatility in the market. For the simple fact that you just open it, you swap your coins and that's all. And uh, yeah, I think this saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of effort and I, I love to see this. This is very important. So thank you for doing this. I love it. Uh, NFTs, obviously, as it X Spotlight, you can see all the NFTs and you can also see all your NFTs. You can see the creators, uh, view all, where it is, view all NFTs. Yeah, here are the creators if you want to, I don't know, tip them, if you want to contact them. Because a very interesting feature, um, this app being not only a wallet, but also being a social platform is the messaging. It's the, the top right corner. Here is the messaging center. And as you can see, I already uh, sent a message to uh, Valentina. She's like super Italian. That's what she said, that she's super Italian. That's, that's why I have her saved like that. So yeah, uh, messaging is very uh, interesting. I got a message from X dude. He's the one who is welcoming you into the X portal app. Okay, let's go forward and check what else is happening. So at the start, before we go forward, you also have your profile picture and you can edit your profile. You set your profile picture, your cover photo, and also you can create an AI generated avatar, uh, which is in beta phase. You have to invite three friends. And sorry about the card, I just, uh, yeah, I just uh, mixed them up. So it's about the avatars, the, the uh, 100,000, almost 100,000 uh, AI avatars. So um, yeah, if you invite three friends, you can create your avatar picture with this AI feature. I don't really know whom to uh, invite right now because uh, I already invited all my friends and families. However, I will put a link in the description if you don't have exporter just yet, then use that so I can create an AI avatar. Uh, it would be a huge help. Thank you very much. Let's go forward uh, because we have so many features, so many things to cover. So there is Insider and I am, I am welcoming this feature a lot because I will be honest with you, I always have problem finding the latest blog post from the Multiverse X team. Uh, therefore, this one, this one is, is, is nice and it's like compact and everything is here. You can see all the Multiverse X uh, blog post here. You can go back and, and check it and it's very helpful, especially for me who makes videos and sometimes it's not the uh, same day as the news uh, came out. And also you can check what is happening today. So obviously a very important and useful feature there is the play button there are the quests the leaderboards and invite and earn they focus a lot about invite and earn obviously which makes sense because they need to onboard the 1 billion people the next 1 billion otherwise they won't keep their promises as you can see cantina royale partnered up with uh, multiverse x it seems so and you have to claim your xp or your experience points every day and the first, uh, I don't know, the top three players will get a Cantina Real NFT. So this is a this is a nice competition. I think it will create some engagement for both Multiversex and Cantina Royal. So yes, I, I like this feature as well. Sorry that I'm not looking at the camera too much, but I am I need to 
uh, check the phones or watch the phone what I'm showing you guys, but you should see the, the phone on my uh, left side. So let's go forward. What is the X button? The X button is the same as we had on the MyR M button. You can scan a QR code to connect to a DAP. You can earn, buy, receive and send. Everything is the same. Earn is the stake. And you can check, uh, which is a new feature, check your connected DAPs. Now, this is important. And uh, the reason this is important is because right now Multiverse X is not so big, let's say. There are not so many DAPs. There are a lot. There are quite a few, but not so many. If you compare it to Uniswap or SushiSwap or any other DAPs, right? Or any other uh, DeFi uh, ecosystems. However, as time passes and more and more projects appear on Multiverse X, more and more people will be onboarded. Obviously, with the rule of the big numbers, the scammers will also appear. And this uh, is the same as you have for MetaMask. So the safest for MetaMask is if you always disconnect your wallet from all the dApps. And I like that you can have your wallet connected to multiple dApps. I think that's also important, but I also want to make sure every time that I disconnected from all the dApps, because you cannot know what kind of exploits happens overnight or, or when somebody gets access or gains access to your wallet and just drains your wallet and it's just, yeah, bad for everyone. Obviously, uh, you will tweet it or I will tweet it that, hey, I just lost all my funds, you know, ecosystem is shit, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm very happy to see that I can keep the wallet disconnected entirely. That's nice. Okay, hub. So what is the hub? Hub is another very nice add-ons. It's a very nice plugin. And as you can see, you can connect from here directly to X Exchange, to the Launchpad and to Spotlight. If I click open here, let's see. Now, if I click here on open, I hope that I don't need to connect my wallet. I think that uh, that should be like a no brainer. I don't know. We will see. So let's see. Balance. Yes. So as you can see, I already... Uh, have my wallet connected to everything and I can even claim my uh, my uh, reward. So let's just claim um, transaction signed. Okay. And it's processing. So this is nice. This is again something which I can do from my phone. I don't need to open my laptop and connect to, uh, to the exchange. So on, so on. I know that many of you used only the phone and you just connected back and forth. I never tried it. I, I always thought that it's a hustle. And I just wanted to, to be safe and, and, and to keep everything simple. Therefore, I always use my laptop in order to operate on the exchange. But with this feature, now I think it's easier. And let's see, I'm just going to close it right now because I can just let it um, yeah, do the processing in the background. In the meantime, let's check what is happening on the X launchpad because I think it will be very much relevant in the upcoming weeks, months maybe. We are waiting for Hatem. To be launched on the launchpad as you can see it's here yes i am logged in aic status it's uh, not started yet meaning that uh, you will be able to do your kic and everything from the phone only i know that it was possible before as well but it seems smoother it seems that this is uh, this is more compact this is uh, more put together than the myr app uh, with the with the laptop. So yeah, we will see how it will be in the next launchpad, but I think uh, this is a good one, especially for those who don't have their laptop open all the time, or maybe you want to do it from your work, but your boss is an asshole and he, he wouldn't even let you open YouTube, so you have to go to the, to the toilets to, I don't know, um, participate in the lottery. I don't know. It happens. It happens. I had a boss like that, to be honest. Stefan knows. Okay, uh, I have 37 notification. So I have continued. Da, 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 da. Okay, this is from the from the claimed uh, rewards. Obviously, everything is a separate notification. Cross network transaction received. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's still there. Yeah, okay, okay. So I have all the notifications here. Uh, one thing which I wanted to tell you is. If you have exporter already, then feel free to hit me up with a message. You know, let's connect, let's follow each other. Because if we go to the uh, to the notification center or the messaging, then as you can see, I can just uh, find people who also have exporter with their phone number. I hope that I blurred out the phone numbers because my colleagues wouldn't be very happy. 
uh, and yeah, you, you can just find find me and and you can send me a message. Send me a message. I mean, whatever. Wave hi. You know, let's connect. I think that's important. Let's uh, let's stay connected because we can just reach out to each other easier. And in the next Buran, when more people are coming, it will be easier to to uh, to help them, to uh, to onboard them. And I think that's the most important. Uh, in the next couple of one or two years. Now, in the meantime, the community was on uh, their best behavior. I have to congratulate every one of you because I could see some pictures, some tweets that, uh, yeah, the app is, is, is like installed, it's updated, but I cannot see my funds. But yeah, no worries, it will work out or it will just uh, be repaired and fixed by the team. And uh, that is very nice. That is the best because it is a huge development and a huge improvement from what we had before when everyone was just freaking out so congrats to that uh it has two messages i think this this fact and this behavior one the community understands and trusts the team everyone now knows that software's updates come with bugs and the team will work and the funds are safe and i think that is the best message the team can have and also a new member who wants to join the community. Second is that the community already got used to everything. We don't have new people. And there was also a poll about it. Only 1% of that poll consisted of people who joined the Multiverse X ecosystem or community in the last six months. And that says something. We need to make some noise. We need to do some marketing. The team needs to do it as well, obviously but we also need to help them. So how you can help? That's the question. Well, obviously, when you see a video about Aaron, when you see a video about Multiverse X, about Benny Minku, anything, you like it, you share it, and you watch it till the end. Because if you don't watch it till the end, because you already know everything, and you can just leave it in the background to play, if you don't watch it and you close it in like the first two minutes, then the YouTube algorithm will think, and right now, thinks that people are not interested in eGold, in Multiverse X, in Beniminku, so on, so on. Therefore, it will just put these type of videos with these text to the back of the list. So we have to make some noise. Like the video, share the video, and make sure that you support and you help all the content creators, because yes, content creators are a huge part of the marketing, and you could have the best product in the world. If no one knows about it, it will be a forgotten one. So yeah, keep that in mind. And I'm happy about Xportal so far. Take care.